Ghana and the US are far apart in terms of socio-economic development, but the West African nation is set to hold elections in December and finds itself in a similar situation like that of America, where a former president is hoping to stage a comeback like Donald Trump. Well, opinions are divided on whether the outcome of the US elections can be replicated in Ghana. Our correspondent Nabil Ahmed Rufai reports from Accra. Just as in the case of America, where Vice President Kamala Harris faced off with former President Donald Trump, the frontrunners in Ghana's presidential elections are the Vice President Mahamudu Baumia and the former President John Mahama. Donald Trump's victory has left many in Ghana wondering whether the same will be mirrored when the country heads to the polls in December. I think former President John Mahama will win, just like Donald Trump win in the U.S. Twelve candidates are contesting in Ghana's elections this year. Incumbent President Nana Ekufado is not contesting because he has reached the constitutional limit of eight years in government. No political party has retained power beyond two consecutive four-year terms in Ghana. But the ruling party, the new patriotic party, is hoping to make history by retaining power after eight years in government. The new patriotic party aligns with the center-right ideologies similar to the Republican Party in the U.S., while the largest opposition party, the National Democratic Congress, leans more towards the center-left ideologies like the U.S. Democratic Party. Analysts say the political situation in America is different from that of Ghana and caution against drawing too many parallels. We are not dealing with immigration in the way that the U.S. is dealing with immigration. We are not doing, dealing with the southern border in the way that we, uh, the U.S. is dealing with the southern border. Um, race issues do not translate the same way as, as here. And even the other situations are quite different. And when we have our own cultural context, right, um, the way corruption is an issue here is not the same as in, in the U.S. Both the front runners of this year's elections are promising to improve the economy by tackling inflation to help reduce the cost of living. Nearly 19 million people who are expected to vote will decide on who takes up the job as Ghana's next president on December 7th. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, Al Arabia News, Accra.